Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the Linux environment variables and what those are exactly. Um, as you can see here, um, an environment variable, or excuse me, a variable in computer science is basically a location for storing a value. Um, and that value is essentially stored in memory. Uh, and the, that value can be a file name, uh, a piece of text, a number, or any other type of data. And you can obviously display it, edit it, delete it, and you know, update it as well. Um, an environment variable, it's basically, like I said, a location of data. Um, and, and for layman's terms and for the sake of this exercise, uh, an environment variable is a way to provide um, application settings for um, different various applications in the shell and various other applications across uh, the different processes on a Linux system. And something I want to point out and make clear here, there are shell uh, environment variables and there are environment variables. And when you look at a shell variable, that's basically a variable that only exists for your running shell. And they are similar to an environment variable, but they're only available within that shell. And then you have environment variables, which are for your entire session. And your session is, you know, your, your login process on a Linux machine. And environment variables uh, can be, the data within the variables can be exported to any child process. And that means a program. So for example, say if you have a environment variable uh, that sets um, a particular setting, you'll be able to access that setting um, across your session in various different applications that you're running in your current Linux login session. And here are a list of common Linux uh, environment and shell variables. I will go ahead and include this list uh, in this section for videos. And let's go ahead and get started playing with environment variables in the shell. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at shell variables and environment variables within the shell. A great way you can see all the current set shell variables are to run the command set, pipe that to less because it's a lot of them. And you can see there's things that are specific to the shell I'm running, which is bash. So there's a lot of stuff like this. And here's um, a very important one for the bash shell. It's the hist fire file, excuse me, or history file. And this is the location. Um, when I type a command in the shell and push enter, it writes it to this history file. And so I could change that and that would only be changed for this shell session. And there's many, many, many more. Um, and a way you can see all the environment variables is to run the command print env also let's pipe that to less because there's many of them yeah so there's this um here's an environment variable it's the user i am and this is you know remember as we said the environment variables are passed down to all child processes of the environment so say if I was to launch an application and it needed to know my username, it could check this uh, environment variable and would see that my user is Cam, and et cetera for the rest of these uh, environment variables. And to show you how the scope works, let's go ahead and create a shell variable. So let's uh, type test my test var and equal this is my data in single quotes this is a string type of variable okay and now if we run the set command and grep for our new variable my test var you see it's there. And if we run print env and grep for it, um, my test var, you see it doesn't show up. 
And so just to demonstrate the scope, remember um, once again that the shell variables only exist in this shell session. So uh, they won't exist. Like if I am to launch another program, it won't have access to my shell variables, but it will have access to my environment variables. And so um, a way to test that is say if we launch a new shell from the shell, basically spin up a child process of the shell. And while we're on the subject, this is how you access these variables, shell variables and environment variables. They're accessed the same way. You um, type a dollar sign, and that's the way the, the shell knows that you're going to try and access a variable. So it would be dollar sign my test var. And you see this is an empty variable. There's nothing there. Uh, and if we exit this process, and we try to echo that, that same variable again, my test bar. You see, it's there. So it only exists within a shell session. So a way we can um, promote a shell variable to be an environment variable is like so. We will call the export command, export my test var. And now if we run print env grep, you see it's an environment variable. Remember, remember and um, excuse me, remember print env is printing the environment variables. And now if we launch a process, a new process within the shell, we should expect that this uh, piece of data is passed down to the child process. So, so in the child process of bash, and we echo my test var, there it is. And so that's a perfect demonstration of how the uh, scope works. All right, so let's go ahead and exit this process. And let's practice uh, demoting a, um, an environment variable back to a shell. So it'd be export with the in flag, and my test var. And now if we check, um, the environment variables, you see it's no longer there, but yet if we check the, um, the shell variables, we'll see it's still there. And so um, these, these shell variables and environment variables, um, they can be helpful when you're writing one-liners um, in the shell and you need to manipulate files or you're trying to um, play with pipes and you need to write like a script to handle some data. Uh, just to give you an idea of how that works, let's set a quick shell variable called my dir. And we'll have this equal to home cam downloads, uh, maybe something with less stuff in it, music. We'll have it be music. And remember how we just set this? We, you know, we just typed the, um, what we want the variable name to be, this, my there, and then we put an equal sign. And then um, since these are special characters to slash, we did a single quotes around um, our value. And that's how you define a shell variable. And then remember, in order to make this uh, an environment variable, we'd simply add export. Anyways, we just want this to be a shell variable, so go ahead and define that. Uh, and once again, we can verify it's there and by accessing it with the dollar sign, echo my dir, that is the value, home cam music. And say if we were writing some one-liner that we needed to access um, this directory, we get call upon this shell variable like so. And you see it, this is the content of my music directory. And just to verify, um, that's what we just saw, do an ls home cam music, oops, music, and all the same files. So that's a quick overview and introduction to shell variables and environment variables. 
I think uh, as a beginner Linux user, you'll probably use more shell variables. And then once you get into more uh, hardcore Linux scripting or a little bit of um, software development, uh, environment variables will become more important. And one thing that's worth mentioning, um, if you want your shell variables to persist uh, across new shell sessions, say like if I close this window and I open it again and I want the same shell variables to remain, um, you can save them in the file that's in your home directory. At least if you're using the bash shell, this is uh, correct. It's called bash underscore profile. And there's nothing really in mine, but essentially you could set your shell variables here. And then um, in order to set uh, environment variables system wide, it's not, it should be, shouldn't be something you're doing unless you're um, really know what you're going to change because this could break applications. You could edit the Etsy uh, profile this file here. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and please tune into the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.